Hi, Marilyn O'Malley here of MarilynO'Malley.com and today I want to talk to you about um, when your family and friends don't get you, right? Um, and you're trying to change or grow or even you're just being you but they're saying to you, I don't get you, I don't understand you, I don't know why you want this. I don't know why you cry at happy and sad commercials. I don't know why you want to change. Things are so good or this is the this is what we do as a family. And um so I thought I would give you some tips here about how to handle it when um when we can't be ourselves around our family and our friends and um, and we're struggling with that because we all do struggle with that and so um, the first thing I want you to, to know is make your life your business nobody else's business nobody else has any business unless they're your parents and you need guidance um, or you've asked somebody to like a coach or a therapist or a counselor or a teacher or a professor um, somebody else's parents or something like that unless you've asked somebody for their advice or guidance then um, and you're old enough to make decisions on your own and look at things and um, then then you can um, then this would apply to you don't make what other people think about you your business the most important thing is what you think about you, how you feel about you, um, where you want to go, not where anybody else wants you to go or not what anybody else wants you to do. It's like what's in here and how can you um, express that in the world and who do you have to become to do that. And so again, stay on your path. Don't go walking down your mom's, your dad's, um, sisters, best friends, boyfriends, girlfriends. Create your own path and start walking that. And um, so I'm saying you kind of have to build um, build a tolerance to people um, not getting you. And so this takes me to one other uh, uh, point I have here too is get comfortable being uncomfortable get comfortable with people not getting you. It doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It just means that people have different perspectives. We all see the world in a different way and nobody else knows what who what your purpose in life is, what your passions are, what's important to you. They're not in your skin, they're not in your body. They don't have your spirit and soul. You know, they don't know what you're called for. They only know what's going on with them and what their fears and doubts and worries and dreams are. And so um, it getting comfortable that people are going to judge you, criticize you, um, have their own opinions. Um, I wouldn't be where I am today if I followed what other people thought um, about me 11 years ago, uh, leaving my husband and moving across the country. Um, they were all so frightened and afraid and I had to go on what was in here. This is my best guide and that's your best guide. What's in here? What's, what's calling you? So the other thing is, get clear on who you are. Who am I? That's a great question to keep asking. Who am I? So give some thought to that and just start thinking for the next month. You'll probably be thinking of it your whole life. I do. You know, who am I? Who am I today? Who who have I grown into? What's important to me? What are my values? What are those passions, right? Um, what do I really care about? And so when we get clear, you know, have a strong foundation about who we are, um, we can't, you know, when other people disagree with us or other people are judging us or giving us a hard time about being something else um, or being like they are, then, then we have a good constitution. We have a good foundation to say, no, this is who I am and this is what's important to me. And when you do that too, you have experiences and everything that keep you, that, that, that you have been building your faith in you 
building your faith and what you're capable of building your faith and trust in that like wow when I follow what's in my heart and I follow my passions and I follow my joy and I follow what I want to do life turns out pretty incredible for me but when I go off on the path and I start following my boyfriend or girlfriend or or um, do what my mom says and sacrifice myself or my sister or my father or whoever you know um, things fall apart and I feel terrible so just start watching all of that um, the other is um, so spend less time with those that aren't supporting you so if you have a nagging parent who is always after you to be like them or do what they say or a narcissistic parent who wants you to show up in a way that is it benefits them they don't really care about you um, or a parent who's a perfectionist and wants things to be every you know really tidy and and in its you know everything in its place and so they don't get freaked out and feel like they're losing control or you have parents who are who are ill or who have um, uh, drug or alcohol problems or you know oh, there's a lot of different things we've all grown up with parents who aren't perfect and we have not been perfect as parents if you're already a parent um, but we're gonna make the best of it right and um, so it's just getting clear like that's your life this is my life and so I've had to distance myself from family and as I've grown and changed um, friends who didn't get me and understand me or made fun of me they went on their own way and I continued on and I made new friends and so will you so just um, make the time that you spend with the people who are controlling or um, not celebrating you and allowing you to be you smaller and the next tip is go find your tribe find those people who um, do have some things in common do have some similar values do have some passions that are similar um, that are high energy positive uh, excited about who they're becoming and they celebrate you and you celebrate them and and you guys you know have conversations so this can be you know a group that you're part of it can be um, you know a coach uh, again a teacher a, a, a life coach a um, family members who a, a church what it, whatever that is uh, meetup groups so just put yourself out there and go find new people to be in your tribe that allow you to grow into you and where you want to go so and you know what nobody needs to get you they just need to be with you be in the present moment we all need to just instead it's like I don't get you it's just like let's be with each other let's not try to get each other let's just be in this present moment with each other and uh, allow what wants to happen with our connection and in our tribes and with our passions and all of that show up so I would love for you to um, leave any comments and share on here like so what is it that you who what what's something that you're getting is you that's who am I or what is it that what's one of these things that you're going to do that you're going to take this step to do to empower yourself to feel supported to f start feeling safe so share with share with us all the actions you're going to take or if you have any questions about this write those questions down and um, if you're new to my tribe um, sign up on my website MarilynOmalley.com and start to get our newsletters and we'll share and you'll get this sort of information and support weekly okay so until we meet again have an incredible uh, week and loving you